watching the brat. Chess with the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess with the brat. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. I don't have no more patience for y'all. I used to have the patience for y'all, but uh-uh. Because there's no reason you're not subscribed. Unless you've never seen me before, then you get a pass. But 9 times out of 10, y'all be watching my videos, okay? You know you be watching my videos, so girl, why are you not subscribed? Let's unpack that. No, I'm just playing, y'all. But go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok, all that good stuff. Because we really got some tea today, y'all. This story time is kind of embarrassing because it's like... I should have known better like I should have just I should have just said no but you live and you learn and y'all know I am notorious for making poor decisions just poor decision making in high school is just all me that's that's just me and I, there's no hiding there's no getting away from it these situations happened so I might as well tell y'all about it right <laughs> like why not why not profit from my embarrassment right right yeah, as y'all can see by the title it's the story time of when taking one for the team um basically went wrong like all the way wrong like probably the most wrong that it could have gone literally it was probably like my 10th or 11th grade year it definitely wasn't my ninth grade year and i had this friend we're gonna call this friend oh i'm gonna name her dandelion because literally like a dandelion she just poofed and like flew away out of my life when we went to college we're gonna name the boy her boy isn't gonna have a name we're just gonna say like the boy or should i name him we can just name him them thing one and thing two. Hers is thing one, mine is thing two. Just think of two man. Y'all know how y'all used to have a friend who either you were that friend or your friend um, had a crush on a boy or liked the boy or whatever. And the boys always say stuff like, oh, um, can you bring a friend for my friend? Or, you know, a lot of times in high school, the boys, like a friend, a little couple i don't even know what to call that like it's not a friend group because it's just two people but like two boys that were really super close friends a lot of them like to go on dates together a lot of them like to go to the mall and scoop out girls together or scope out girls together that is exactly what thing one used to do so dandelion hit me up one day and she was just like oh my gosh chessa i have a crush on this boy i met this boy and this this boy didn't go to our school or anything like i went to school with dandelion and thing one and thing two both did not go to our school these were not our school boys at all and she basically sent me a picture it might have been in a group chat and he was cute we was all like oh girl he's cute you should talk to him you should talk to him and me and her were super 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 close at the time um i wouldn't say besties or anything because y'all know using that word lightly <laughs> very much so um but yeah we were pretty good friends we had like three classes together this year we had lunch together we were cool as like we used to hang out and stuff like that and i remember her telling me that she wanted to go on a date with this boy he basically invited her out on a date but asked her if she had any cute friends um because he wanted to do like a double date situation so without my consent without my permission dandelion sends them a picture of me like before even consulting with me y'all she freaking sends a picture of me like when he says do you have a cute friend i love her for thinking that i'm the cute friend thank you very much but um yeah she sends a picture of me and he's like oh yeah bet like um let's do a double date or whatever so she asked me um can you come with me but she doesn't present it to me like a double date she presented it to me like oh he invited me out with him and i don't want to go by myself because i don't know him like that and i'll feel more comfortable and safe with you coming with me so Y'all, please tell me how you turn how you turn that down. Please tell me how you say no to a friend who's basically feels comfortable and safe within your presence and wants you to come with them so that they can not be scared. You know what I'm saying? And if if it, it was the other way around, if I wanted her to go with me, um, nine times out of ten, I probably wouldn't want to do a double date situation for the first time going on a date with somebody. But he offered it to her and she wanted me to come so i agreed to it or whatever she didn't tell me that beforehand i didn't know what it was like i had assumed that maybe it would be some like little fun spot or something i didn't really ask too many questions because i felt like if she was trying to put me on to his friend or something like that she would have sent a picture of him like before there was no picture sent to me there was a picture of me sent to them but not the other way around so um i wasn't talking to nobody or anything like that I don't, she wouldn't have even you know been down i think she was low-key trying to surprise me um, because she probably felt like I would have said no to going if she would have told me that it's like a double date, double date situation. And before y'all say, oh, Chelsea, how didn't you know it was a double date situation? Why would she invite you to third wheel on a date? First of all, babe, a lot of my friends did that. There was one time where I literally went to the movies with a boy and I brought my best friend. Like, 
I can tell y'all a whole story time about that too. I literally went on my first date with a boy and brought my best friend. She sat right next to me at the movies. So I didn't know what the, I didn't know what we was doing. I just knew she wanted me to come. So we went and I pushed up. She basically told me to just meet her at the skating rink. And I'm not going to say the name of the skating rink y'all because it's not even in a skating rink anymore. And I would tell y'all where I went to high school and that's none of y'all business. We used to go to the skating rink every weekend and I have story times from skating rink days y'all. We we really stopped going when we got to high school but I knew of the skating rink already and like skating I still enjoy skating to this day. It just wasn't something I did every single weekend other than when I was in middle school. So when she told me to pull up to the skating rink, I pulled up to the skating rink and me and her got there before they did. I'm like, girl, you gonna grab his hand? You gonna skate with him? Like, what you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Cause I can skate by myself or whatever. And this is when she decides to tell me that he's bringing a friend. I was like, well girl, you better hope that he's cute. Because if he's not cute, I don't know that I'll really be able to speak game. Like, I don't know that I'll really be able to fake it with him because I wear my emotions on my face. I really, if you're ugly to me or I'm not interested in you, I'm not going to be rude to you necessarily. But, like, considering I did not come there to go on a date with nobody or, like, I didn't, you know, come there trying to be on some timing like that, He, if he would have been cute or if he would have been, like, had a great, great personality, then it would have been a different situation. But... They end up getting there or whatever. Oh, when she told me that he was bringing a friend, I didn't really care. I was just like, girl, why didn't you tell me? And she was just like, I don't know. Like, I don't remember exactly what she said. She might have told me that, um, like I said, she didn't know if I was going to still come or whatever. Which, girl, that's selfish. Like, you should give me the chance or the, the choice and the opportunity to make my own decision. But, um... Yeah, I didn't really care. I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I didn't really care that much because the skating rink, for one... I love to skate, so if anything, I could have just zoomed and skated by myself, or I could talk to him just to pass the time or whatever. I'm not no rude ass, so I was like, it's fine. So they get there, and thing one walks in, and he immediately goes to her and hugs her or whatever. He says, what's up to me? And then thing two comes up to me, and y'all, thing two was not cute. Thing two was not even a fraction of cute like thing two looked like Ooh. i was like i know damn well thing one knows his friend is not cute i know thing one knows his friend looks like this like why why he should have asked her do you have a friend but he should have took the cute out of it because why are you asking for a cute friend when your friend looked like franklin so i was putting my skates on he was talking to me and he was just basically like oh yeah you really cute or whatever like what's your name and i'm telling him my name or whatever I'm looking at my friend and she's like kiki with thing one like she's really feeling thing one and like i told y'all thing one was pretty cute so i was like i'm gonna let her vibe out with him i'm not even gonna you know try to piss off her this dude or whatever because i didn't want to be rude to him and stiff to him and then you know the boys end up dipping together like boys are really i don't even want to say sassy but boys are really inner intertwined with their friends like boys are really in with their friends. If they friend wanna dip, nine times out of ten, he might just go with him, like, even if he's feeling my friend. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna flirt with him, but I'm gonna just talk to him. Like, I, there's no problem with me entertaining this conversation. So, he's talking to me, and he's skating beside me. He, we was just talking, and like, it was cool. It was fun, but it wasn't giving, like, a day. It wasn't giving romantic. It wasn't giving chemistry. At least on my end, it wasn't. I don't know about him. But, um, there were little times where he tried to skate behind me. Not really, like, on my booty, but, like, you know, like a little vibe when they was playing a little R&B. Because y'all know that with the kind of tunes they play in the skating rink. Like, it's R&B vibes all the way. So, he's like skating behind me and I'm kind of like skating away from him. And then I will turn around and skate backwards and like talk to him. Like, I was I was not trying to have like a s slow skating, sensual, quiet moment. Like, none of that. I was literally skating and like talking to him and skating fast. And like, it was it was not that. Like, I was trying to be subtle about me not really feeling him like that but while also not being a bitch you know what i mean so the night comes to a close and when we're about to leave or whatever he like gives me a, a little hug or whatever and he asks for my phone number and for my instagram or whatever i gave him my instagram i did not give him my phone number i gave him my instagram i was literally like oh i don't really give my phone number out but i can give you my instagram you can follow me on instagram y'all that usually has always worked for me if i tell you i don't i don't give out my number that should tell you that I'm not interested in you because no or no girl or dude or anybody on the planet is going to not give somebody that they're attracted to or interested in phone number unless, I don't know, like in, in very rare circumstances, you know what I mean? But if we just 
you, if you think that we were just on a date and we were skating together and stuff and you had a good night, then you would have thought that I would have gave you my phone number, right? No, I didn't give you my phone number. I gave you my Instagram. You thought I was you? You thought I was a little bit he has my instagram y'all this boy is liking all my pictures mind you the during this whole timeline of the situation um dandelion is really becoming like real close with thing one like they're feeling each other she's feeling him heavy she's talking to me about him she's like she's sending me pictures of their messages the whole nine like they're really getting to know each other like on that type of level i wouldn't say that they were boyfriend and girlfriend yet or nothing like that but they were definitely exclusively talking to each other like she was really feeling him she went on more dates with him after that she didn't drag me on any because there were a couple times where she would say like i can come or whatever that his friend would be there and i would be telling her to tell them you know i don't want to come he's commenting hard eyes on my pictures and Sometimes I would delete his hard eyes from under my picture because I didn't want nobody thinking that I was my man, I'm not going to lie. And at this time, like I said, I didn't want to throw, like, I wanted her and Thing One to really become, like, fully established for real. Because, I don't know, I didn't really feel like telling him, like, I didn't feel like it was necessary to tell him to not like my pictures and stuff. Like, I felt like he really caught the memo uh, when I told him that I wasn't going to give him my phone number. Because there are some dudes where you'll curve them. And they'll still put hard eyes on your pictures. They're still going to like your pictures because it's social media. You can put hard eyes on my pictures. You can like my pictures all you want to. But that doesn't mean I'm going to talk to you. And that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same back on your pictures. You get what I'm saying? So fast forward again. Dandelion invites me to some type of party. Um, I don't remember whose party it was. I know it was a dude's party. But like she had sent me to fly or whatever. And it was going to be like kind of in the city not in our like little school area but it was going to be in the city and there was a lot of people that i knew posting it on their story on instagram on snapchat and stuff like this this was a party that everybody was finna go to like everybody was finna go and she asked me if i wanted to come or whatever so i told her yeah like i didn't care i was like hell yeah let's go to the party so we both went to the party and of course thing one comes to the party but he brings thing two which I don't own this party. This party's not at my house. This is not a party I'm hosting. Like, you can come to the party, baby. I don't, I don't, I don't own this shit. So you can come. But I'm not going to be talking to you or none of that. Like, I'm not finna be stunting you. Like, I was really trying to avoid him this whole night at the party, you guys. Like, I kid you not. So I'm at the party. I'm twerking on my friends. Like, I'm doing ratchet shit with my ratchet friends. And I don't want to, like, not even to, like, put down girls who would twerk on dudes there's nothing wrong with that because like that's literally what you go to a party for nine times out of ten back in like that era you was going to the party to shake ass like literally um but i never danced on no boys at a party like the main reason was because i didn't feel like i would do a good job at that like i was self-conscious of what if i'm not doing a like good job what if i look stupid like from that angle like i was very self-conscious so that was the main reason why i didn't do it but also just because i didn't want to be because i knew i had a lot of guy friends that would talk mad shit about girls who would who twerked on them at the party and yeah she twerked on me too and i'm just not i'm not here for that so i would only twerk on my female friends or whatever and i know a lot of y'all girls are like that too because a lot of my friends would also like you will be throwing ass like i'm talking about shaking ass and then a boy will walk up and you'll be like um no and y'all looking back it's like they're not entitled to it or nothing like that but it's just like we would have such a bad attitude and like be so offended by it as if like that's not what's going on here like that's what everybody's doing you could literally just be like no like i'm good no i'm good you don't have to be like the fuck like i used to be like like ready to fight these niggas about getting behind me while i'm twerking like what, what are you doing that for but yeah so i was twerking on my friends or whatever i was twerking on dandelion and i gave dandelion some space and she would go um mess with thing one but he was there with his friends like I'm pretty sure he knew a couple other dudes there and there were people that i knew there too i had other friends that were there there were dudes i knew that were there or whatever so there was a moment at this party when i was twerking and y'all i might have been a little bit tipsy i didn't really drink like to get drunk at this time i would drink like little ritas and stuff like that and i was twerking on my friends and literally thing two came behind me trying to get me to twerk on him fuck out of here and i literally looked at him so stank and was like ew like i was like ew like get the fuck from behind me so i go around him or whatever and like i walk away from him and i see him walk away and i keep doing my thing or whatever later on in the party a dude walks up to me that i know like literally from my school that i knew was gonna be there and he comes up to me and he's talking to me we're literally not even flirting and we could have been because 
who was gonna check me like I literally was not in a relationship and this thing too was literally not my nigga so I don't know what this was about but I was um just talking chopping it up with one of my friends or whatever I'm talking about like that friend had a girl there that was twerking on him and all that like we was just talking and I see thing two looking at me from across the room and he doesn't say nothing to me but he's just looking or whatever and y'all why when we leave this party he texts me talking about some you're so friendly or some shit like that I don't have the receipts anymore because like he's literally blocked but I was just like Oh, he was just like, um, why are you so friendly? Or like, you friendly as f with laughing emojis or whatever. And this is when I decided that it was time to violate. Because why are you telling me I'm friendly for talking to my friend, for one? And that's not something that you say to a, just a girl who literally curved you. Like, what do you mean? I'm friendly because I'm nice, but I'm not a friendly... Y'all, I'm not even friendly like how he was trying to make it seem. For one, if I have a nigga or a boyfriend, I'm definitely not talking to no niggas. I probably don't even have nigga friends if I have a boyfriend. Two, I don't have a boyfriend at this time. So what do you mean I'm friendly? I was talking to my literal friend. So yeah, I was smiling and being friendly with my friend. You're like, you're, you lost it. You must have lost it. So I was just like, you're not my nigga. I don't really like you like that. I'm not really feeling you like that. And I already told my friend, like, I was going to tell him because she thought it was weird, too, how he was acting. Because, y'all, I was literally so stiff on him. You would have thought that maybe he was just in denial. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he was like this with every girl. But I was just like, I, I could have had leave me alone written on my forehead. And he would have still been like, you playing. Like, stop it. So I told him, like, I'm not really feeling you like that. Like, can you please just get off me? Like, get off me. I don't like all of this. Leave me alone. Please, like, I'm begging you to leave me alone. Stop all that. And he was just like, cool. Like, C-O-O, -O, cool. Or it would have, it could have been K-O-O. -O. It was cool. It was cool. So I was like, okay, good. He gets the memo. He didn't call me no bitches and hoes, like how niggas usually do when you curve them very, very directly. He didn't say, oh, you ugly anyway. Like, it was none of that. He just said, cool. So I was like, cool. I didn't unfollow him on Instagram or anything like that because for one, I never interacted with his page. He never posted himself anyways. So I didn't feel the need and he would like my pictures, but like he wasn't commenting on my pictures no more. He wasn't doing none of that no more. So I was like, this is great. I love this for myself. Like this is, this is cool. Like I don't even have to lose a follower over this shit. Fast forward for like probably like a month or two, like literally it wasn't two weeks or nothing. It was probably like a month or two months, maybe even three. And there was a kickback that Dandelion was hosting like at her house so i was like it wasn't like a party when i say kickback like literally it was like a game night kickback i think i've talked about only one game night to y'all before but it was jenga it was um twister it was all that stuff i did tell her not to invite thing two or like to tell thing one not to bring thing two um but i guess thing one just didn't listen because he brought thing two and they were just over there with the guy like the boys were with the boys and the girls were with the girls the girls were playing like some girly ass game i don't think it's that girls game girls night game i don't even think that was out at that time but it was something that the girls were playing with each other it might have it might have even been like never have i ever i'm not really sure but the girls were with each other the boys were with each other and i had gotten there when everybody was already there like i got there like a little bit late so i'm sitting there talking to all the girls and this girl comes up to me and she's just like oh my god like you're so pretty like all the girls are talking and like exchanging instagrams it's not like she just singled me out she pretty much is or exchanged instagrams with everybody and i did the same like that's just what girls were doing at the thing like they were like oh we should all hang out like because it was literally just like four or five of us it wasn't like a lot of bitches so um this one girl in particular we're gonna name her we're gonna name her boo boo y'all because she literally acted like boo boo the fool this night i swear so we're gonna name her boo 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 came up to me and she was just like oh you're so pretty like give me your instagram or whatever i put in my instagram on her phone and then i had to pee y'all i had to pee so bad i went to the bathroom after that and when i came back to like be around the girls again boo boo was kind of stiff like boo boo when i first met her she was hella like bubbly and like talking to everybody she wasn't really just talking to me she was talking to all the girls and she was being like she was kikiing she might have been drunk even like she was acting drunk like she seemed cool she seemed like a vibe i'm not gonna lie so when i get back over there she's talking to pretty much everybody but me and like i think i had asked her like a question or whatever and she was just super dry and like rude as with me and i didn't know why and i was just like looking at her like she was crazy but i was like okay whatever so a little bit later everybody kind of gets like back together with each other and i see boo boo gravitate towards thing two 
And immediately in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, I, I didn't really click, it didn't really click in my head, like, what exactly was going on, but I was like, maybe he, she peeped him looking at me or something, or like, I don't know if they know each other, but, I, like, when everybody was coming back with each other, she walked over to think too, so I was just like, oh. But I didn't care, because literally I wasn't even attracted to the boy, like, I did not care at all. A couple minutes passed, I see them talking to each other, and it kind of looks like they're getting into an argument, but I didn't want to, like, be... In somebody else's business i wanted to just mind my business so i kind of tried to like not look but i'm a nosy bitch and i've always been that so i kept looking over there and she like like looked over at me and i didn't look away because bitch you're not gonna be my ass but i just was looking like it was looking like they were arguing about me so she pulls into the bathroom or whatever like they go to the bathroom together to talk because i guess she's she knows that like i'm i'm peeping what's going on or whatever so i just carry on like i'm on my phone or whatever i'm chilling i'm not trying to stir up no drama like i'm not even gonna bring tell my friend about it because my friend she'll probably end up hyping me up to do some stupid shit because she know how i am so i was like i don't even care like why do i look why what do i look like checking her about checking her nigga about me and i don't even like the nigga like like what did what did glorilla say she said they come at me about niggas who i don't even find attractive like he ugly he's ugly his personality was mid like he was cool like i said the skating rink night i was really carrying the conversation because i was trying to talk about stuff that was like like literally i probably talked to the boy about football like i was not trying to have him ask me 21 questions and ask me if i'm a freak so they get out the bathroom or whatever and i'm on my phone and this girl starts charging towards me not like she's trying to fight but like she's trying to come up and like confront me or check me on some shit so, so she comes up to me and she's like so you tried to dance on my nigga what bro what are you talking about man and y'all i was taken aback because what do you mean by that <laughs> Who, who, I hope you're not talking about thing two. I really hope you're not talking about thing two. So I'm like, who, thing two? And she's like, yeah, thing two. Like she said exactly how I said, like she mocked me. And I, I started laughing y'all. Like I started literally laughing her face because I was like, come on now, babe. Look at me and look at thing two. I'm not even gonna say look at you. Cause I would even say that the girl was out of his league, but look at me and look at thing two. And you think that I would be trying to twerk or dance on this man? What are you talking about here? Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Like, what are you talking about? So I stop her and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So you was at this party. Is that, you're talking about the party that was like two months ago or whatever? She's like, yeah, he told me that you came up to him and you tried to give him a dance and he told you that he's good because he has a girlfriend and that you were pressing him. Can't stress this enough. Count your fucking days, bitch. You did that for what? So I told thing two to come here and I said, please tell her in front of me that I tried to dance on you at that party. And he was like, did you not? Are you delusional? Do, or do you suffer from a mental illness? Y'all, I almost spit on him. I, you, I almost threw up when he said that. Like you're, you're finna lie to your girlfriend about me when you literally didn't even have to do that. You didn't even have to say that. So I'm looking, like, I'm partially confused and also, like, just very offended. And I'm like, that is not what happened at all. And she's like, so why are you, why are y'all following each other? Why is y'all following each other? And I was like, well, based off of what he just told you, why would he give me his Instagram if he told me he had a girlfriend? Like, that, that's not even when we met, baby girl. Like, that's not even when we met. And I literally curbed this man multiple times. And she was like, why would he lie? I was at that party. And I was like, your man tried to get me to dance on him and I literally turned around and looked at him like I seen a ghost. That is what happened, babe. And she's just like, I don't see why he would lie to me about that. I don't see why he would lie. I started trying to tell this girl like the actual situation that happened because she was coming at me all types of crazy, but I just was so offended that she would think I would be interested in this nigga that I wanted to clear the air. Like if she still wanted to, you know, if she wanted to get down, we could have got down after the fact, but I was finna clear my name because baby, ain't nobody talking to this ugly ass nigga. And I, if anything, like I did the exact opposite of talk to this ugly ass nigga. So I wanted to really make her look stupid, but this girl is just going out. Like she, like she must've been drunk as I'm not gonna lie, she must've been drunk as I was borderline sober. So she's like coming at me and she's just like, oh, you're gonna have to hold me back from this bitch. You're gonna have to hold me back from this bitch. Like she starts talking like with fighting words or whatever. So she comes towards me a little bit. She doesn't swing or nothing. I don't swing at her, but I push her and the bitch falls over. Like, and I'm not gonna lie, she was a big bitch. Not like big in width, 
but in length she was a big bitch. and you know you hear that big bitch fall harder so i don't know if she just had a, a faulty equilibrium or what but i pushed her and the bitch fell over like um on the little coffee table that had like probably jenga on it or something and she falls like to the ground thing two like drags her or like kind of picks her up not drags her he kind of like goes under her arms and like picks her up and like he's like come on babe like come on and, like he starts pulling her by the arm or whatever and she's just like nah like nah bitch nah and like my friend she's like get out y'all need to get out of here because like this is my friend's house literally so she's like y'all need to get out of here because it's not gonna end well for you you need to get out of here and my friend she probably would have ended up calling the police i'm not gonna lie because i don't she had really strict ass parents and if we would have got to fighting in there and breaking shit it would have been her ass. So she was just like, y'all need to get out of here. Y'all need to get out of here. And y'all, the craziest thing about this whole situation is that Thing 1 literally co-signed what Thing 2 was saying. He's literally told, he literally told, um, what's her name? He told Boo Boo that that wasn't true. That like, we didn't meet. We didn't go on no double dates. Like, that I'm delusional. Like, he literally was siding with his friend real bad. Like, I was like, are you serious right now? So, of course, Dandelion cut Thing 1 off. She told him to leave. Like, they all left together like all three of them left together and i was just like what he had a girlfriend when he was trying to get a dance from me at this thing so i'm pretty sure he had a girlfriend that the whole time like i'm pretty sure they were dating that whole time because it, the way that she was talking about like seemed like she was real like oh my nigga my man my man my man you should be mad at me if i knew about you or you should be mad at your man but you can't be mad at a bitch who don't know nothing, like, there's nothing, like, I didn't even know you existed, baby. I didn't even know who you were. And on top of that, what he's telling you is a complete lie. I've never been interested in this man, ever. Like, it was never that. So, yeah, she tried to fight me, and I pushed her ass, and she left the party or whatever. And literally, y'all, I texted Thing 2, and I was like, you're weird as like I, I don't remember exactly what i said but i was just telling him about himself because i was like nigga you gotta be kidding me like are you a joke and this man just put like laughing emojis and then blocked me dandelion stopped talking to thing one altogether. like she a real friend for that because they really liked each other and i did tell her i was like i mean him saying that him lying for his friend like that that says something about his character but if you genuinely think you can forgive him or like that y'all can proceed after him doing that i don't have no problem with you talking to him but I don't, I don't like him. I'll probably not ever want to be around him again because that's really strange. And you got to hold people accountable, even your friends, y'all. Like, you can't just let them do whatever and support their bullshit. Like, no, that's not cute. That's the story, y'all. Ever since then, I never accompanied another friend on another date ever again. And if they ever try to set up on a double date, I have to see the, do I have to see the boy first before i get there like i don't gotta talk to him and feel him out for a long time before going but i was like y'all i need to see these niggas don't try to surprise date me like that like don't try to put me on a blind date like that because next time i would just be like you're ugly you're ugly and stop talking to me i be trying to be nice y'all and this is how situations where you try to be nice that's how it goes like nine times out of ten it's gonna go like that if you guys like this video make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below if you guys show love to my vlogs i would definitely put out way more story times for you guys your the story times are like rewards i like to reward you guys with story times when you guys show love to my other content Content. thank you guys so much for getting my vlog to 5k already like that's why i'm literally filming this for you right now but yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i love y'all bye